here we are at the goldfish bathtub if i put this here they'll roll up right on it see <laughs> we're about to have some blue lobster eggs guys i'm so excited easy 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 ninja easy no food for you and there she goes with her eggs what's up buddy what's going on ninja guys this is my water cow Gobi, also known as my alien fish guys what's going on slayers we're gonna get right into it today and we're just gonna look at our fish right here look at that guy hey what's going on man do you want to come up above hey up here up here come on come up that's my boy always say hi for the camera what's going on slayers hey hey i guess that's uh, what his voice would be if he could speak now let's go ahead and check out our gopers our ogre blob catfish Ooh, that's a, that's a little poo from that last feeding video, guys. If you haven't checked that out, check it out. Look at Ninja following me across. Now, oh, I can't forget. We have one guy down here. We have Godzilla. Check him out. He's so good. He's loving his new enclosure. We're going to be doing a little bit more renovations to this one. But he's looking good. Now, today's video it has nothing to do with this guy or that guy or Godzilla himself. We are actually going to be taking a look at... Crayola or blue crawfish. Yes, or blue lobster crawfish. Now, I noticed, as well as everyone else commented in the video, turtle versus crawfish. Let's go ahead and roll a clip of what happened there. Godzilla. Versus crawfish. Here we go. While I was editing, I noticed this. Check it out. Right there, you can see if I freeze the frame, Crayola is actually loaded with eggs, yes. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and check out Crayola. Now guys, here is my 15 gallon flanks where I usually keep my crawfish, but right now I have some platies and I have Crayola there. She's usually, uh, I think she's hiding in here. That is what I call the breeding tree. Every single crawfish I've ever had successfully lay eggs and hatch them have been in this tree. This tree is very significant to us here on my channel guys here on my channel so the mission is to get her out as safe as possible without harming the eggs so you guys can see but also we transport her into her new tank now with that being said guys let's go ahead and feed them i usually feed them omega-1 shrimp pellets because it's perfect they sink so let the platy get to eat and my other crawfish get to eat so um let me go ahead and take this out i'm alone today guys so bear with me come on let's get a couple in here just enough to I don't want like to overfeed these fish and they know what's going on. Here we go. Come on, buddies. Oh, look at the yellow one go. And once the yellow one eats, so do the other ones. That little orange, whitish, spottish one. So while they're eating and stuff, let's go ahead and see if I can find Crayola. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the lid. Oh, look, there she is. So she's no longer in the breeding tree. She's out here. Perfect. That works out. So as you can see, guys, I have like a little jungle gym going. Like she can go in there and she can go around, which that will connect into there. That's something I did for the crawfish. So let me take this out real quick. So guys, before we take her out and see her, let's go ahead and use this Tupperware I have here. And I'm going to fill this up with some water from the tank. Not too much. So then she can go ahead and sit here so that the eggs aren't harmed too much. Now I'm going to get soaked. Why do I always wear long sleeves? I have a problem. Get ready guys. So there she is. There is Crayola, the blue crawfish, the famous blue crawfish. And let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Let me go ahead and put the lid so you can see. Oh my God, you can see her eggs, guys. Oh, you can see her eggs. So I didn't confirm 100% before because I haven't taken her out, but this is the first time I'm seeing her out. We're doing this together, guys. So let me zoom in closely. There they are. There are her crawfish eggs. Now I'm pretty certain, like almost 100% sure that these are blue lobster eggs. These are blue lobsters because the only person she got jiggy with was blue. So here's the blue crawfish. She's looking so pretty. Oh, thanks for showing us the eggs. So as you can see guys, there are those eggs and majority of them look fertilized guys. Super fertilized. So as you can see guys, she's trying to hide because she feels very threatened since she's out in the open. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do first, before we go ahead and remove her, I gotta move these guys. I gotta move them because I don't want them to threaten her eggs and her offspring. So let's take a look at her while she's so close. But look, she's blue with a little bit of purple. She's looking great guys, she's looking good. So let's go ahead and move our platies from this tank into the bathtub outside so that we can go ahead and set up Crayola's enclosure. And here is the last one. Come on, 
There we go. So we have our platies here. I got plans for you in the future, but right now we're taking them to the goldfish bathtub. Here we are at the goldfish bathtub. If I put this here, they'll roll up right on it. See? Ho, 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 ho. They're savage. But worry not, guys. They're not going to eat them. Even though I have, I call them my goldfish piranhas. <laughs> they only eat flakes. So I'm going to go ahead and put these guys here. Just let them float around and get used to the water. But the water's about the same temperature as the tank they were in. So it's only going to take a little bit before they can go ahead and be released into the goldfish bathtub. So it's been about 20 minutes or so and the time has come where we release our platies into the goldfish bathtub. It's going to be very hard to take them out of this tank in the future so wish me luck guys. Alright, be free. See you later guys. And just like that they're gone. Oh, there they are. There's a couple right there. So we're going to be filling these up with some variety of tropical fish and stuff so that we can go ahead and make separate ponds. But that's going to be for later and another time. So back to Crayola. All right, Slayer, so we made it back and there is Crayola looking righty and tidy. She has the entire aquarium to herself. Now she's going to stay here until the new aquarium finish cycling and stuff like that. It's going to be a couple days. I'm going to go ahead and speed cycle it, grab some biomedia from this tank here and try to speed cycle it for her because this is such a big tank. And what's gonna happen is if the babies hatch here, they're gonna get sucked up through that vent. Whereas the other one is gonna be a shrimp tank, the one I bought for her in the previous video. So let's take a look at these eggs. Oh my gosh, there's so many and they all look fertile to me. Perfect. We're about to have some blue lobster eggs, guys. I'm so excited. This is gonna be absolutely insane. So let's go ahead and actually move her from here into this little holding tank right now so we can go ahead and examine her. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I almost got you. Relax. We're almost home. We're almost there. I promise you, Carmela. Oh, look at her eggs. She's hiding them. She's protecting them. Look at all those eggs. So she's in there now. Those are rocks from the tank. Those aren't eggs. Wow, guys, look at her colors. There's blue, blackish, then some purple. She is such a gorgeous blue lobster. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is carefully, carefully secure her claws so that we may go ahead and examine her with her eggs. Look at that. Another successful breeding for my crawfish, but this time they're gonna be blue. She has so many eggs, guys. In the comments below, can you count how many eggs she has? Look at that. There's so many and a lot of them look fertile. So let me stop stressing her now. Let me put her back in here, okay? And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is place her in here, put all this stuff back in here while the other thing cycles, and then afterwards, we're gonna move her. I'll see you in a couple of days. All right, Slayers, well, the day has come. This tank is 100% cycled. There's nothing in it. Hey, what's going on, Ninja? You always wanna be in the frame. We got it, bro. We got it. You always want the attention. I understand. So we got our tank ready to go. It's one of those EBA flu balls. They're perfect. It comes with the stratum gravel, which is absolutely perfect. So it's good for plants if you want to go ahead and do some planted tanks. And it has everything you need. I highly recommend it. Catch them while fishing also uses these. And they're easy to go ahead and clean. You just take everything out. They're just the Fluval systems. Just a smaller version of that. And it's perfect. It's my favorite. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get Crayola in our new tank. All right, Slayer. So as you can see, we have Crayola there chilling she is hiding in her little domain enjoying her life now we're gonna go ahead and add her to the other tank now she has a lot of space here there are those eggs look at all beautiful eggs so she does live a good life in here but i want to make sure that nothing contaminates these eggs like the last one so let's go ahead and get her out and get her into this container again and we'll take a look at her right so we're gonna actually instead of trying to fight through the structure we're just gonna take everything out hopefully i don't spill water don't spill any water. Is she in here? Oh, look, she's in here. So that actually worked out best for us. Hopefully she doesn't get out. Come on, Crayola. Easy, easy. Don't do it. Don't let go. Slowly over here. Got it, got it. Oh, oh, don't fall. Don't fall, don't fall. If you're gonna fall, fall in here. If you're gonna fall, fall in here. All right, she's good. So we're gonna actually have her go in there. Come on. There you go. There you go. Oh, she's kinda on her back, but look at all those eggs, guys. Look at all those eggs. Again, comment below how many you think are there. So here, let me let me help you out. Let me help you out. Let me help you out. Come on. 
Don't pinch me. All right, so she is here. Her body is moist, so she's gonna be fine. And she's looking beautiful. Look at those colors, guys. Red, blues, purples, dark blues, blue. Hopefully her babies are like that too. So let's get her into her new tank. Easy, 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 Ninja, easy. No food for you. These are our babies. No, 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 you're not gonna eat these. So her tank is ready. It's looking great now, guys. It's looking good. And the water's about the same. So we're just gonna go ahead and plop her in there. Hold on one moment. All right, guys, so there's Criella. She looks so good. So let me go ahead and uh, grab her real quick, secure these claws, and look at these eggs, guys. They look absolutely amazing. Hey, chill out. It's not for you. So everything looks really good. Really, really, really good. And uh, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and just have her walk in there by herself go inside go that way go in and there she goes with her eggs wow look how blue she looks in here that is amazing how blue she looks so um i think we should go ahead and get a decoration you know what <gasps> i have just the perfect thing so this is mama Cross decoration where she usually hides in between right here so she can go ahead and keep those babies alive so we're gonna go ahead and pass it down these are hand-me-downs we're gonna go ahead and put this in crayola's tank as well so here you go we're putting that there. Or you not? Chill out. Chill out, ninja. Crayfish are friends, not food. Well, this one's a friend. So here she is. So I'm gonna go ahead and without spilling a whole bunch of water, I'm just gonna kind of bury this a little bit for her so she can go ahead and go inside and hide and have her babies in peace. Now what's gonna happen is, unfortunately now with the decoration, we're not gonna be able to see her. But we're gonna be doing some periodic updates and checks on these babies because they're gonna be hatching in about two, maybe three weeks. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We are over 85,000 subscribers. And yes, without you guys, none of this is possible. These are my fish and they're also your fish too. Got my gopers in the little layer, guys. Like I always say, I hope you enjoyed the episode and I'll see you in the next Slave Venture. Booyah. <laughs>